Hello my darlings, I'm Twiste and today I'm going to be talking to you about a movie that is going to make you start saying Puff Puff Slash. I'm going to talk to you about the movie 420 Massacre. This movie is directed by Dylan Reynolds and it's about a group of friends that go up to the woods for a birthday weekend. Suddenly, they come across this guy named Buddy who gives them a backpack full of weed. They have no idea why he's trying to give up this big old bag of weed, but they take it anyways. And as it turns out, whoever is in possession of the marijuana or starts to smoke that sweet Mary Jane is in for a rude awakening. When I first heard of 420 Massacre, I kind of thought to myself, okay, this is most likely going to be like the B-movie Evil Bong, where it's about a bong that is evil that gives you horrific trips. This has been advertised as the first stoner slasher flick. This has B-movie written all over it, so I did not go into it as in-depth as I normally do with the A-class horror films. So I wanted to make sure that I would give this movie the justification that it deserves. And as it turns out, it's actually kind of fun. What surprises me is that unlike most B movies, the characters have significantly good chemistry. You can actually believe that these girls have known each other for quite a long time. And even when they are argumentative with each other, it still feels real. It does not feel forced. As fun as this movie is, I feel like there are certain parts to the film, even though we are getting character background, it still to me felt very slow. So that is my one major complaint of this film. When there's a scary situation is happening, it builds up tension, it builds up anxiety, and then something happens, but then you go about 15 to 20 minutes with absolutely nothing else. Plus not only that, there are some gory moments and I personally was intrigued by a few of them. Besides, I've never actually seen somebody get killed by a bong before, so that was very interesting. <laughs> All right, my darlings, let's get down to business of what it has and what it has not, and I will let you know if 420 Massacre is worth watching or if you should just pass on this grass. There are four horror cliches. One of the cliches is the group of girls, one that's the goody-goody, one that's the know-it-all, one that's the flirt, one that's the argumentative one, and of course, you have your standard pothead. Total amount of eerie moments, there are three eerie moments. One eerie moment has to do with the girls bumping into the forest ranger, and the forest ranger is telling them to keep their distance from a certain garden because there are rumors going around that if people go near a garden, then they die. The reason why this scene definitely works is because the music, it adds tension. Unfortunately, in my personal opinion, there are no suspenseful moments, but then again, I'm a horror movie junkie, so it's going to take a lot to scare me. Total amount of jump scares. There are two jump scares, and these are very dumb jump scares. One of these jump scares has to do with two girls got separated and they go near the creek. Suddenly, one of the girls sees that there is a person in the woods. So the other one goes to investigate. When one of the girls is investigating, suddenly you see a hand go on the shoulder, a loud banging noise, and then as it turns out, it is the other girl. That to me, I feel, would have been better executed if there was no loud banging noise. I'm gonna give 420 Massacre three and a half out of five stars. It does have some funny moments, the tension is real, the chemistry between the characters is good, plus you get to learn more about them whenever there isn't much scary moments. However, that is my major complaint, is that there would be tension from certain scenes that cause anxiety, but it would get diminished for a good lengthy amount of time. So that is my one major complaint. But if you're looking for something that's a whole lot of fun, this I definitely give a recommendation. If this seems like your type of movie, then I highly recommend that you see it. It'll be available on DVD and video to download on April 3rd. I will put the links down in the description below. And also, if you are interested in following the social media of 420 Massacre, I will also put a link down to their Facebook 
and their Twitter. So have you guys seen 420 Massacre yet and what did you think about it? What are your favorite B horror films that have to do with the subject of Mary Jane? Please write your comments down below and we will have a discussion about that. Do you have a horror movie you would like for me to review? Old or new or even a foreign movie? Please write them down below and I will get to them as soon as I possibly can. If you like what you've seen, please hit the like button. And if you want to see more, please hit the subscribe button. So, until next time, my loves.